Let's shoot an approach. At altitude, try flying a simulated approach with the light bars lit to a beam the green donut. If the light bars are lit above the green donut, you are at too high an angle of attack. You would want to push on the yoke or stick. If the light bars are lit below the green donut, you are at too low an angle of attack, and you would want to pull on the yoke or stick. This is the picture we want to see. The light bars lit a beam the green donut. That's the perfect angle of attack for all approaches. During the approach, use the power to control your rate of descent and control the angle of attack with the sticker yoke, keeping the bars lit a beam the donut is shown. Position the flaps to up. Notice that the green donut went away, indicating that you are now using flaps up data to compute angle of attack. Simulate an engine failure at altitude. Fly an angle of attack with the green bars just barely lit. When operating in the green, you are flying in normal command. When operating in the yellow or red, you are flying in reverse push. command or behind angle, the power angle, curve. Push. The transition between green and yellow is the best lift over drag, the best engine out glide, and the maximum endurance for propeller driven aircraft. Later, you'll notice that lower gross weights will result in lower approach speeds than when flying approaches at higher gross weights.